I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm making some wooden Christmas stockings that light up that I can hang on our fireplace mantle. My basic idea for this project is to make five boxes that are shaped like Christmas stockings with an opening on top for dropping in stocking stuffers. The front will have Christmas shapes cut out of it and I'm going to put LED lights inside the stockings so the light shines through the holes. To make this project, I'm going to need 10 pieces of this 8 inch thick Baltic birch and a standard 8 foot 2 by 6. Before I get started, I'd like to thank Inventables for sponsoring this project. They sent me some of the new upgrades they have for the X-Carve, so I've already installed them, so let's take a look at what's new. I installed these taller end plates on all four corners of the machine and that raises the gantry so that I can carve taller materials. And for comparison, here is the old smaller end plate so you can see the difference. The upgraded Z-axis assembly is much more sturdy and it allows for more vertical travel since the machine has been raised. Also the DeWalt router has been upgraded to the Makita router which is much more quiet and it runs at slower speeds as well. And you'll notice that the motor is on top now and it directly drives the uh, screw here. Uh, so it's not driven by an additional belt up at the top. It's been upgraded with larger motors and wider belts uh, to increase the strength uh, which can result in faster cuts. And for comparison, here's the previous size motor. These new acrylic side panels help to stiffen the rails and prevent them from sagging from under the weight of the gantry. And they also help to contain the dust and chips onto the wasteboard. I haven't upgraded my wasteboard yet since I keep it clean and it's still in good condition, but they do have a new upgraded wasteboard with T-Tracks uh, that can really help with clamping. If you're interested in any of these upgrades or looking for a new uh, X-Carve kit that includes all of these upgrades, I'll put a referral link in the video description below. Now let's get back to the project and check out my designs. I used the Inventables Easel Pro software to create my designs. I picked a simple stocking shape and enlarged it to fill the board. Then I added a hole in the corner for hanging. And this will be the template for all the stocking pieces. I used a monogram font to add initials at the top of each stocking. Since these letters will be cut out of the board, I had to modify the ones that had internal holes like the letter O to keep the centerpiece attached. After typing the letter O, I drew a thin rectangle on top of the O and then combined it with the letter so that the centerpiece stays attached. I added different holiday graphics to each stocking from the design library and Easel Pro has lots to choose from. Solid shapes work well for these. Watch for shapes like this bow that will result in thin slivers of wood that would break easily. Uh, for this bow, I used the Exploder app to separate it into its parts. Then I spread them apart a little bit to allow more space between the parts so the wood between them would be wider and stronger. Let's carve out these parts for the stockings. Since I'm making five stockings, I need to cut out five of these back pieces that don't have any shapes cut out. Okay. 
For the curved side pieces that will be cut from the 2x6, I used the offset app to place a smaller stocking inside the larger one and set it to cut inside the path to make the side piece about 0.3 inches wide. I covered the top with a rectangle and set it to zero depth of cut to save some time. And since this side piece is so thin and could easily break during carving, I set it to cut only part of the way through and I'll finish up the cut with my bandsaw. and sand it smooth and now is a good time to apply a finish before assembly. I just need to make sure I avoid spraying any of the glue surfaces and I'm just going to spray everything with a few coats of this clear spray lacquer. Okay, I've got all five stockings assembled and ready to go. And when I was looking for LED lights to put inside, I found this five pack of wireless puck lights at Walmart. It includes all the batteries and also a remote control that controls all five lights at once, which is gonna be cool. It even has some double stick tape so I can just stick them inside the stockings. So that'll be neat. And I'm gonna just use this twine to hang them on hooks on my fireplace. Before we go inside the house and check out these stockings all lit up, I'd like to thank Inventables again for sponsoring this project. Don't forget, I'll put a link in the video description below where you can open my easel project and create some wooden stockings of your own. Also, I'll include referral links where you can shop for X-Carve upgrades or buy a new kit that already has the upgrades included. If you're new to my channel, please click that subscribe button and check out my past videos and also click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd like to wish you all happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.